Hi everyone, it's Kristen with Think Somatics. We're at the last exercise of the daily supplement routine. This one's called the seated twist. Uh, there's many variations to this, probably more than, uh, than I even know. You could probably make up your own. I'm gonna break this video into little sections for different variations. So here, once again, you're gonna be on the floor, but you're gonna be seated, so find some space, have a seat, and let's get started. So in the previous video, I had you sit and you were doing inverting and everting of the feet. And I had you try skiing with your feet. So bringing your feet up. So this is kind of a nice way to go into the seated twist. Bring your feet up to one side, then shift your weight so that one knee comes out to the side and one knee is in front of you. And then you can plant your hand. So I've got my left knee in front, my right knee bent with my right foot off to the side. I'm gonna put my left hand down behind me, bringing my right hand up on my shoulder. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is get into this position and then just close your eyes and you are going, you can watch this at first, but you're gonna do a little twist off over to the left, okay? And then coming back around. So I'd like you to try that. You're gonna do that three times, nice and slowly, but with your eyes closed. And you're not forcing it into a stretch, you're just trying to be nice and supple and smooth and fluid through the middle of your body. So you're rotating around and you're doing it slowly and as you come around to your third twist and you're looking around at the back, go ahead and open your eyes and pick a landmark of where your eyes and your head turn to. What kind of rotation do you get your body to go into comfortably? All right, and then you can come out of that for a moment. So that's your first little test. And then, there, like I said, there's lots of variations, but the next part I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna rotate again but as you rotate the torso to the back, I'd like you to just look over your shoulder to the um, right, and then coming back down with your hip and rotating the torso to the right as the head rotates to the left. So a gentle rotation, looking over the shoulder as the head goes to the right and the torso goes to the left. And then when the torso rotates back around to the front, you'll look over the left shoulder as the torso twists to the right. And remember, this is not a forced move, letting it be smooth and easy from the middle of the body. So that's another variation. Now you can take your hand down if you need a little break. The next variation is doing um, a rotation, but focusing on your hip of the right side. Now, if you're doing this and letting your back help you and you're rotating in the middle of, from the middle of the body, as I rotate, I put my weight into my left hip and my right hip comes off the floor. I'm even rotating a little bit off the ankle of the right foot. So bring attention to that hip and how when you turn, that can help you turn a little bit more. I'm just exploring that slowly, sensing what's going on through the middle of the body and the hip comes down and maybe your hip doesn't touch the floor and that's okay. So again, I'm going to do these fairly quickly. You could do them more slowly if you like. You can take a little break. Sometimes people's arms get a little tired. Now I'd like you to shift the head around to the back, but let your eyes, now I'm gonna to look to the camera with this, so I'm gonna turn around. So as I turn around, I'm gonna let my eyes rotate to the left a little further and then to the right. And I'm taking in everything in my line of sight side to side. So I have muscles around my eyes. I'm feeling them. Okay, so slowly, it's kind of hard for me to talk through this and do it at the same time. But just moving the eyes. And then you could rest out of that. I'm gonna go back into the same position I was in. Hand up on the shoulder and then rotate around with your eyes closed three times. And on that third time, 
Notice if you've gone any further. So once again, your eyes are closed as you're turning. You have rotated the head and the torso in opposite directions. You've worked with the hip. You've worked with the muscles around the eyeballs. So as you're doing this twist, you can kind of blend all those things that you've just learned about yourself into this move together. So my hip comes off the floor. If my eyes were open, I'd be seeing things in my line of sight. I'm twisting. Maybe I need to even move my left hand further back because I can rotate further now with ease. And on that third turn, open your eyes and see if you've gone any further. And I hope you did. So that was the seated twist. Like I said, there's other variations. We can move the head up and down. We can move the eyes up and down. But that would give you a little uh, sample of the seated twist. And once again, you would want to switch sides, switch hands, and do the same pattern to the other side. So that's the seated twist, last exercise of the daily supplement. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, you can throw the comments down below, or you can contact me on my website, thinksomatics.com. Thanks a lot. Take care.